it is a trust uh, which has group of institutions like uh, Aditya Institute of Management Studies and Research, Aditya College of Architecture, and Aditya College of Design Studies. Uh, in AGI uh, Hub, we provide three level of training patterns. Uh, at level one, where we introduce you to different career opportunities available in the industry. In level two, we connect you with industry experts who would like to speak to you on different specialization of career you like to join. And at, at level three, we will introduce you to subject experts, where we will give you free training session on which specialization to choose. So uh, during the session, I uh, would like to request all the participants to uh, keep their mic on mute and webcam off. And if they have any uh, like uh, questions, they can raise that in chat box at the end of the session. And please welcome to our today's speaker, our experienced professional from fashion industry, who is going to share his expertise. Please welcome uh, Mr. Anub Mitra. Over to you, sir. Hello, everyone. Uh, uh, can we start right now? Or yes, sir. We are waiting for some more people. So we can start now. Okay, okay. Uh, so basically, uh, like I'm Anub Mitra. I'll just uh, start with the presentation so it's easy for you guys to. I hope everybody is able to view it. I, everybody can yes, view the presentation? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, yeah. Sir. okay. Great, great. Get this down. Yep. So basically, I'm Randa Mitra, uh, aka Mr. Idiot. Uh, I have been in the industry for around six, seven years right now. Uh, I've been doing fashion. I have a fashion brand. I have a fashion brand. I'm currently working as a marketing head of also in the company. Uh, I've been doing fashion styling for a long time. A celebrity stylist as well as a, like uh, advertising stylist as well as costume designer, costume stylist. So today we'll take you through the journey of basically how to be a fashion stylist or what is the basic stuff about fashion styling and that helps you in defining your career path as a fashion stylist. Uh, first thing basically I want to, before we start any of this presentation, uh, people have a misconception about fashion design and fashion styling. Uh, what is it that will be addressed? Uh, what is the career path of fashion styling that will be addressed? So where do you start being, uh, when you're a fashion stylist or a fashion designer, where do you start your career from? So basically the, the basic fundamental is that I would advise you to basically understand the fashion industry and the history of fashion. Uh, why am I saying that? Uh, the reason is basically, suppose you go to a client, client meeting, and you they are giving you a certain kind of a brief, uh, but you are unaware about the fashion industry or the fashion history or the trends. Uh, what will you revert to them when they give you a certain scope of work now this is the shoot that's going to happen within a month right now you need to create a concept board you need to create a mood board uh, you need to finalize the models you need to finalize the look everything so what what are you going to tell them over there you don't know anything about the con about fashion industry or the fashion history the basic thing is to under uh, read about the fashion industry you know the fashion industry so Whenever they are talking about it, you understand the genre, explain them the genre, uh, and then take them through the journey of uh, that. So that the knowledge of yours will be helping you to look good in front of your client. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to suggest you, the, which is a very important thing, uh, fashion designers are somewhere capable of becoming fashion stylists a little bit, uh, but having a degree of a fashion stylist or fashion merchandising is very important to become a fashion stylist. Uh, it's not only helps you in uh, strengthening your fundamentals about fashion styling and the industry of, uh, of it, but it also helps you basically about fashion industry and the trends. So I would highly recommend you guys to like do a course in fashion styling and uh, uh, fashion merchandising. So that we're going to take it to the later half of it. Uh, we're going to talk about in brief about that in, I suppose, in the sixth or seventh slide. Uh, let's go to the, so what is uh, basically, what is the job of a fashion stylist? Uh, so as you see as a fashion stylist, it's not a group of fashion stylists, it's just one. 
So a fact, the job has been given to a single fashion stylist. He has his own, he or she has his own assistants that they work in a group. Uh, so what fashion style is basically an individual who will be working. Uh, so not so fashion designer have their own own labels. Fashion stylists are individual basically who will be working for the label as well as films, uh, movie industry, uh, television industry. Uh, fashion industry uh, and you can work with advertising agencies also the sec I got a question uh, you need uh, the longer and you need us uh, uh, I don't know who is it iPhone uh, you need portfolio yes but you also need uh, uh, basically a degree uh, now you can take a portfolio and go, but in many industries, if you go work for an e-commerce industry or if you work a commercial industry, they will look into your portfolio, but they also are also a So uh, for a few, a few uh, if you want to become individual stylist, though, then it's your call, don't uh, take a degree. But if you want to become, uh, work for a reputed company, you need a degree for sure. Uh, so yeah. So basically, what is the fashion style are talking about is you need to uh, from photo shoots. So what the fashion style is basically you do? Uh, suppose you start, you go to a client, he'll give you a scope of work. You start designing it. You are basically designing the uh, the company will be expecting from you is to design the whole structure of the shoot, from conceptualizing to uh, hiring a, 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 a model. To uh, looking at the props, looking at the costume, looking at the accessories. Uh, but yeah, you work in tandem with the photographer, but it is your vision which is being captured by a photographer or a videographer. And in film industry, basically, a certain kind of brief comes in and you work on that in the video industry, uh, to be precise. So, yeah, a sec, smooth start. So, let's understand the difference between a fashion stylist and a fashion designer. So how many, uh, like, like let's make this little interactive with people. Uh, what do you guys think about fashion design? What is the difference between a fashion designer and a fashion stylist? Let's take it a minute and if anybody can respond to it, then we can go ahead from there. Uh, yeah, it come, does come on the fashion communication also fashion communication is very different yeah fashion communication may aata hai fashion stylist but not complete fashion communication may guess you have a shoot or something like that they'll hire they'll hire a fashion stylist for sure companies if you have they have fashion stylists with the big companies the big media houses and everything they have fashion stylists in house uh, but when production houses usually hire uh, freelancers from outside yeah, fashion communication team does have uh, stylists. Uh, designer designs a garment, a stylist styles it. Can you go a little deeper because this is a very vague one. Sorry. You said right that fashion designers basically create clothing and they may not be a uh, Stylists only may not be great stylists because they work on a concept for garments. They work on this, uh, this group of work to make, uh, usually to make a conceptual garment or a garment for the masses or for the e commerce. So they, they get a data set, some of them get uh, e commerce company gets a data set. Okay, so we have to, uh, this is the new collection, this is the area, and this is the job that we're looking at. Kindly come up with uh, this thing. Yes, uh, no, fashion communication does not uh, involve from making of the garment and selling it. Uh, it was uh, merchandising, yes, but uh, making of a garment does not involve fashion communication. Fashion communication is a little different over there. Uh, they do give you inputs, but they don't uh, hamper with your making of the garment. Sorry. But yeah, rest is, rest is yeah. So yeah. So a fashion stylist basically, a fashion designer will make the garment. Hello? Okay. I can hear a voice. Any questions? 
Okay. Uh, a fashion style is someone who will basically select a cloth or make, uh, come up with a good concept and make a wedding in the shoot. A fashion designer is the one who is making the basic example, the basic difference between a fashion designer and a stylist. Stylists never make a cloth. A uh, designer usually makes they come up with a product and the stylist pick up from the code based on the concept, based on the idea that the shoot is off and they, they come up with the, uh, they go to different designers and they pick up clothes from there. So that's how we used to do, uh, like currently we do it also. Okay. If it's a, a company shoot, if it's a company shoot, what we do is uh, we take their garments and uh, the, we take the product from outside. Uh, but if it's an uh, editorial shoot, we go to different, different companies and different, different brands, different, different labels. Uh, based on our concept, uh, we talk to them, pick up them, pick up the props from them, collect it, get it to the uh, one, uh, do the trials, and then we go for the shoot. So before that, there's a cool thing called mood board that we design uh, before we even go for the shoot. Or even go the mood board has so let's go to the next one. Is. Okay. Uh, current, is it audible now? Yes, yes, audible. Sir. Okay. Uh, Siddhi has not, is it not audible? Okay, good. Uh, so, what is the career path for an or a stylist? Uh, it depends. Somebody uh, said that they don't want to take ed uh, education, uh, take a degree in. Uh, fashion styling course, then for them is basically uh, become a celebrity stylist uh, is one thing. Uh, you can work on a production house sometimes. They will uh, hire you on a freelance basis uh, or a fashion house, they hire you on a freelance basis. But if you choose to take a degree, there's a whole lot of things that opens up because nowadays corporates, uh, uh, fashion houses, editorial houses, uh, anyone, they, you take Vogue or L or anyone, there they have fashion stylists, in house fashion stylists and editorials. So they prefer degrees. Uh, so if you have a degree, you can work for a production house, you can work for a talent agency. Yeah. Uh, without degree, you can work for talent agency, but you can work for a single one or two uh, celebrities, not for everyone. But if you need, uh, if you have a degree, you can work for a, a, any talent agency. Uh, you name it, and you can work with an SKF or a, anyone but you just kind of act out uh you can work for a fashion house you can work for an e-commerce brand e-commerce brand usually uh, keep a fashion stylist in house two fashion stylists usually a brand like a nika or a, a brand like a flipkart mintra they all have uh fashion stylist in-house so e-commerce brand usually a fashion stylist and a photographer and a whole setup uh, they put it up inside uh advertising agency usually higher uh, they don't um, keep any uh, fashion stylists inside, they hire uh, freelancers. Uh, for movie industry, uh, the pay, the, 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 you don't understand about movie industry, it might be most of the fashion stylists and it fetches you the least amount of money out of the whole game. Uh, film industry will give you the least, amount, but that will give you only name and fame to grow your career. They're okay, I've worked for this for a movie and a movie under this director, with this actor, bus. that is what you're going to get in, uh, in the film, in, uh, film industry, basically, the thing, or music video, majorly. Uh, celebrity style is also uh, the same thing. Uh, but one thing I would uh, this thing uh, touch upon uh, what uh, somebody had told, you need to need a portfolio. Yeah, you need to need have a portfolio for a fashion style. If you have a degree or you don't have a degree, you need to have a, a portfolio. Do it for free, three, four times, five times, collaborate with a lot of photographers, do free shoots with them, build, uh, build a portfolio. If a degree hoga be a portfolio, there's no use of it. You need to have a good bag of portfolio and do variety in it, uh, not a single portfolio. So yeah, that's basically you know, about the fashion styling and fashion industry that we were talking about, basic fashion styling. Uh, let's uh, talk about something very important that everybody in uh, a fashion stylist uh, require or have. I have, uh, most of the fashion stylists have it. Uh, there's a kit that we always carry uh, that is very essential to us. And we it's basically a baby that we carry all the time because we need to have that. So a stylist, basically that we call it 
so a pin a uh, septi pin a uh, basically uh, you need to have a sorted box with big small pins uh, in the shoots in majority thing that you're doing uh, a shoe where you need to pin it up uh, it's been loose so you need to tie it up you need to uh, or you wearing a coat you don't want that coat to fly off you pin it up from inside and you keep it together so so pin is very much important then we can uh, the second thing is a, a bull, we call it bulldog clamp or you can also call it crocodile clamp and basically more, uh, you should have it a set of it you should have it you do get it with a photographer if you work okay with photographer they also have it uh, but it's very important for you to have it uh, suppose uh, you are doing a shoot where you uh, you're making your model wear a dress and it's not fitting it's uh, loose from the waist so you tuck it up from back and you clip it so that it is it looks fit to them and it does not tear off so this kind of clips are flat it does not have uh, sharp edges so it does not tear off your garment so many of my, many of the time that one surprise when we pin it pin it little you have those marks in that but in this clip you don't have that mark it's very very much helpful that you, uh, the the thing does not tear off uh, the third thing is the masking tape most uh, masking tape again uh, why you'll need a masking suppose in indoor shoot or outdoor shoot the most of the times uh, models don't carry the shoes or an actor don't carry the shoe we give them the shoes we get in butter we we get it pick it up from uh, a lot of stores getting the battery that they they name will be coming into it or you or for our uh, good communication and networking that we have we pick it up from them Uh, in a shoot, usually the sole gets damaged. Heavily, the sole sole gets damaged. So what we do is we very smartly we put the tape over there so the sole does not get affected, and the sole remains uh, very like when you peel it off later on, the sole is exactly the way it is. So for that reason, it, the uh, masking tape is very important. It has helped not only me a lot of uh, uh, stylists a lot. Uh, the 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 light saver will be a double sided tape. Uh, why uh, many people have heard of nip slips and uh, the garment slipping off. So the a double sided tape when you, you if the, suppose the garment is little uh, like the uh, little low, you you tie the double sided tape over there so that it does not fall off or you tie it over your it does not fall off so it's very important for uh, you to carry many of the shoots i've seen uh, uh, over year or so i would tie us uh, for girls have to tie uh, keep a double sided tape over your because uh, sometimes the slit falls basically uh, so you need to tie it over there so that it does not fall it, it's not visible so on camera also it, it, uh, it's easily editable or if it's if it's visible majorly it is not visible Yeah, a lint roller is when you're going for an outdoor shoot. Or uh, most of the time, a stylist uh, initially when you start, you have a small pouch. But after, uh, like now, I'm working for eight, uh, six years right now. Uh, I have these huge bags, and all my clothes have been stuffed over there. Whenever the shoot comes, I take out my uh, uh, irons and I just uh, steam iron it and take it up, uh, take it for the shoot uh, from my collection. So. uh many times you see a certain kind of uh, uh the fabric not being smooth or, or you see some dust particle being on that when you go to an outdoor sh- uh, shoot when somebody is laying down on the back uh there's a lot of dust over there you cannot you can do the, like this stuff yourself but you cannot do it for the models so you usually use a lint roller to take it off clean it off uh, for that reason another thing is a stain removal uh, to most of the time uh, sometimes usually i don't let my models uh, wear my garment and come closer to the food or uh, but yeah slip up happens uh, they fall down or any they touch somewhere and uh, they get certain kind of stains so a uh, very important to have a stain removal wipe basically that is very important and one more thing for if you're doing a, a female shoot or any uh, it also should you should have a nipple cover this is not only for slip or for suppose you're doing a backless shoot or a semi nude shoot so it easy to stick it on over there and so that it's easy for the photographer also to uh, photoshop it 
so the nipple slip is very important uh, primarily also like i've done uh, like i was doing a backless shoot with sonali uh, in uh, two shoots i've done like that with sonali so she was had to wear only it was basically for jewelry so we had to put the whole jewelry over there so uh, so, so nobody can see it we put the nipples uh, uh, cover over there so when if people are also a little bit also visible so that it gets covered and it, the model also feels secure and not safe and does not feel a little uh, weird out over there so that is uh, the kit a small kit that is important uh, in this and the which i missed out over there three important thing is very important thing are one is uh, the bag that you carry a small bag that does not change you buy a one bag that you're going to keep it for 6 years 7 years 10 years that bag does not change make a bag like that uh and a sewing kit many of the fashion stylists when they start their career uh, because they are not fashion designer they don't know how to sew so for you to know how to sewing is very important when i was doing a film shoot uh in uh marathi films i was doing one film shoot over in gorega so what we had is uh, the nawari sari so it was not tucking up so we had to stitch it to sew it over there so that while shooting it does not flare up here and there so you have you should know how to stitch it also because you have to keep it tight over there so many fashion stylists don't know how to sew so which is very important so that's the reason when you are not a fashion designer and you directly go into become a fashion stylist that is the way that is where you fault up you should have a small uh, i suppose i don't have it right now i have it but i don't know where it is I have the small scissors that a fashion designer usually have it i also have it a small uh, scissor because they minute 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 uh, details that you crop it out uh, the threads, uh, single single threads which are there that you cut it even while sewing you need that but where in the garment there's a small small thread that comes out and it does not look good uh it goes to one of the fashion shows over there i could see a line of uh, threads coming out so that is not really does not look really good so you need to have this uh, scissors to go about it okay uh so basically let's go about the fashion styling course guideline because i've been insisting on having a course uh guide uh, this thing if you need to become a fashion stylist fashion designer also need to uh, have need to have a certain kind of sense of fashion styling a, sh- a short course can uh, will be enough for that uh for them so what do you basically learn from uh, this course so basically you'll be able to understand the basic of in the general idea of fashion styling Uh, which uh, if you start from without education uh, which is a three months or six months education i don't uh, know how uh, much how it is right now but short courses are three months or six months right now so in three to six months basically you understand everything about fashion styling so the what you learn outside while working uh, for an, a year year and a half that you the basic and the history of it you learn in fashion styling in a course so that is very important so you will be after this course you will be able to work as an assistant uh, people who are been a fashion designer they and they want to change their course also to fashion styling or anybody who wants to become a fashion stylist so they need to they can start off being a assistant stylist uh, yeah because we will make uh, that uh, if you're doing a course what will happen is uh, a lot of photo shoots and everything happens inside the inside the college only the you at least have like uh, in my idea when i was doing it it had six shoots so six different kind of shoots that you have a portfolio of six shoots that you have uh, so that will help you build your portfolio so you need to have a good portfolio so you would sh- we will make sure uh, basically a course that a learning outcome from that course will be to understand the personal style so many people think okay jazzy things are making look good or ranvi singh is a fashion icon many people think uh, he may be fashion icon on his own but then a personal style that because he is comfortable with that fashion style what makes you comfortable you wear that and the basic tip that you can get into that so yeah uh, so and in the the course that helps you it's on make you understand about fashion history as well as fashion trends that's going on make you learn a lot about the fashion history so that uh, 
while doing any shoots, you don't get stuck up somewhere. So, yep, uh, you can take up questions right now. Yeah. Uh, there is a question from Somashi. Can we relate fashion styling with sustainability development? Is there any link between these two? See, fashion styling is, uh, you can, you can work towards, you can push towards that. Uh, that is not an issue. Uh, sustainable designing is the new thing that we are working on right now. I've been working on the longest time, uh, at least like five, six years, many designers and um, even the stylists have been working on that. Uh, so, you, know, you can relate it with them. See, all it depends on the client. In fashion style, you cannot become, okay, I want to be a sustainable fashion stylist only. You cannot do that. It, the sustainable designing uh, genre is very small uh, compared to the whole industry that you have. Uh, Next question is from Style. <laughs> like, uh, sir, what do you think about oh, oh. Govinda? Is he a fashion icon uh, or my, not? So I love him. I think if you ch check my uh, Insta also, like there's photos with two photos with Govinda. I love him. I, he, I adore him. Uh, 90s kid, I adore him a lot. <laughs> but yeah, his style is different. He's comfortable in that. He's happy in that. Uh, it does not, uh, like if he if he's comfortable, he can carry it. He has made a name and fame out of it. Even Ranveer Singh has made, name, made a name and fame out of it. People might tell him the bad news but, uh, for styling, but that all depends, yeah. Uh, we are not there to judge anybody. If uh, if a client, many times, a, a media gives you a flag, okay, or uh, what kind of styling a Ranveer Singh or a Govinda has, but Go, uh, Go, uh, Govinda was Govinda because of his styling also, because of his yellow uh, and orange color. This thing, uh, bright colors actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yellow, orange, green, fluorescent. Uh, the next question is from Somashri only. So, is there any security of this passion? Many people said there is a lot of risk, and I want to know the reason behind it. See, risk is there in every every field. Risk is there. Uh, if you uh, passion styling. Uh, uh, like in the, I suppose in your college only when I had come over there, they, they, uh, somebody told me, a fashion designer told me, like we get paid a lot, we get paid a lot more than a fashion designer. The fashion stylist at this point of time gets a lot paid. Uh, it's not going to change fashion because uh, any shoot, uh, any movie uh, cannot work, any, any uh, photograph or any video cannot work without a fashion stylist. The need of the hour in fashion industry is also fashion styling. See, uh, you might have to work hard uh, in the initial uh, one or two years. You might not get success. You will be working as an assistant. Keep working as an assistant. Keep doing uh, shoots. Keep building your portfolio. After a few years, two or three years, it takes time. Two, two three years, you will uh, do good. It depends on how your how hungry you are to become a good fashion stylist. Next question is like, uh, if a participant want to pursue a fashion styling degree from any mm -hmm. institute or a college, where it would be, and uh, uh, like, what makes a fashion stylist a good fashion stylist? Understanding your client, understanding your uh, artist. Uh, many a time, it uh, happened for me also. I take the clothes which my uh, my idea of uh, fashion, the, I, what I feel is they, they look good, good on them, but my some of my clients don't feel that way. So convincing them is difficult. But then, if you understand the pulse of your uh, of your client, if you understand the pulse, it can be your agency also, it can be your film, it can be your uh, celebrity also. If you can understand the pulse and keep your research. Intact. Uh, if you become a stylist, that does not mean that okay, you gather notes from your fellow uh, stylist. Uh, you need to have your own research done and uh, pitch it to them. Think what is good for them, and make sure that you convince them. So, for a good fashion stylist, it's good to have a networking, have a good convincing skill, and have to have a good uh, background uh, research. Okay. So, next question is like, how do you feel when you got your first fashion shoot? 
and every uh, like every shoot and uh, project uh, will give you a different experience so uh, you would like to share any good or bad experience so basically my fa- first fashion shoot was from my own brand so i didn't feel very great i was like who worked up uh, because it was my own from my own designed garments so it was very i was really worked up uh, okay, what what i going to do how we going to do is it going to come in uh, it takes time to get that feel of it uh, but uh, over a period of time it got kept, kept on getting better uh, once you start uh, getting confidence in the see the results and start getting confidence it feels better many a times if you have a good photographer working with you it makes you it makes things more easier because they know the frames they if you know the frame how the frame will look it makes it easier yeah uh, like uh, as a to pursue a career as a fashion stylist uh, which institutes or college or certifications or programs you like to share with the participant where fashion stylist and fashion fashion styling and fashion merchandising are the two things that you can look into it uh, the courses are there in a lot of colleges and it also has a right now uh, i suppose aditya has also started a course i suppose yeah uh, you guys have also started a fashion styling yes, yes. Styling. yeah so they have also started a fashion styling course uh, if you want to go abroad go to london uh, london has a good and uh, new york has good uh, if you want to go abroad but until i don't think so you'll be allowed for a year right now so in india if you want uh, you can go to nift or uh, uh, nid nift or uh, other tech college or raheja also has one as well uh like uh... isk also so so like we left with a minute only for this uh, session yeah. to end uh, all the participants who have more queries they can revert us on our whatsapp group or email id uh, and uh, thank you sir for such a wonderful session and all the thank you so much for everyone. your time and uh, stay sure. safe and so stay much. healthy yes thank yeah. you so thank much thank you, you. bye everyone take care bye 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 sir